Welcome to the shop, everyone. Listen, I've been thinking. I would like to make a test fixture to hook all this stuff up that we got for that 454 build and test run it even before we put it on the engine. Now, with that old distributor there, if we could figure out a way to hook something to it to spin it, we could do some tests on all this electronic ignition stuff that we bought to run that engine. So if I can make something that would fit up in there and spin that distributor pretty quickly, we might could test some of this stuff even before we install it on the engine. So one thing I have in the shop that spins pretty good is one of those side grinders. You know, I'm not sure the RPMs of them, but I know they spin pretty fast. And you gotta figure that distributor, that distributor is spinning half the speed that your crankshaft is. So if we can figure out a way to mount that distributor where that you know, side grinder will spin it, we could do some pretty neat tests. So, let's think. Let's go over to the junk bucket, see if we can't find anything in there we can make something out of. Now, we got that brass rod, and that brass rod looks about the same size as that drive, so let's whip it into something. Ah, there we go. All right. So, if we can get that hooked to the side grinder, so I made that little tip there to where it would center. Now we keep it centered on the side grinder. Let's go ahead and get that disc and everything off there. See if we can't figure out an easy way to uh, mount that little drive onto the side grinder itself. Alright, so I'm going to get some heat shrink that you use like on wires. And I'm gonna actually let it hold it in place because the distributor itself doesn't take a whole lot to drive it. It just spins pretty freely. So let's heat shrink some of this heat shrink around that. Then to secure it a little bit better, I'm gonna put a couple zip ties around the bottom and the top. tight a little bit there all right so we have a little bit of flex for you know something that lined up just right and also it should be able to drive that distributor pretty well now all right so now I need a way to control that side grinder to where it won't you know I can make it spin different speeds as I go up in RPMs instead of just on and off. So with this Variac, I can control how fast the grinder spins. Alright, now we need something to hold that distributor in place and, and hold that side grinder and get this old vise adjusted where it'll grab hold of that distributor and I'll be able to clamp down all right, so here's the Variac. See, I can slowly start it. Go up the RPM and down. All right, so that part's working. Let's go on to the next part. All right, so I'm gonna start hooking everything up. I'm gonna start with the coil. I need to mount it somewhere. It's one of those MSD blaster tube coils. I'm just gonna set it over there on the vise itself and use a couple welding magnets I use to hold stuff in place when I weld to hold it in place. Now I'm going to hook up that Street Fire MSD ignition system. Go ahead and get it out of the box here. So the instructions and it comes with a bag of little fittings and wires. You got the rev limiter and that little LED light also flashes for codes, so we'll have to look at that in a later video. Alright, so the instructions they do have a setup for this Protronics, Protronics electronic ignition, and that's how we're going to wire it up just like that. I'm just going to use an old lawnmower battery, a 12 volt lawnmower, lawnmower battery to uh, give it the power. 
And there's a tack that I'm going to use. It's old Bosch, well not old Bosch, it's new Bosch tack. But that way we'll be able to keep up with the RPMs that we're running and testing the things at. I'm going to go ahead and hook the Street Fire Ignition, MSG Street Fire Ignition up to the coil. Wire the other wires to where they need to go. And I kind of need a way to actually turn the system on and off. So I just welded me a washer to this old bolt. Screw it on there. Ran down to the hardware store and got me a on-off switch. It'd be like my ignition key. Alright. So, while I was at the hardware store, I got me some magnets. What I'm gonna do with those magnets is you know, if we have the spark plug wires and the spark plugs, we need a way to kind of hold everything there to where it has a ground. The spark plug has to have a ground. And so what I thought, if I could get those magnets, and if I could actually stick the spark plugs onto the magnets, see if they would hold in place. Kind of like that. All right, so we got all the spark plugs set onto the magnets where you can see the spark, they're all grounded. So here's the whole system kind of wired together. Next thing we need to do is get those XL spark plug wires hooked up. Now, I had already gone through these wires and you know put the, the end that goes on the spark plug is already installed, but the end that goes on the distributor you know you had to finish that in, clamp them in place. So I went ahead and had done that previously. So what we're doing now, we're just hooking everything up. I am doing like the firing order. I have like number one spark plug on one side, number eight, and then I'm uh, hooking them up the firing order, the one eight four three six five seven two firing order of the standard Chevrolet V8s. There's everything hooked up. So on the next video, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hook this thing up to my oscilloscope, and we're gonna see what kind of patronics, you know, what kind of I don't know signal the patronics electronic ignition system is giving out. We're gonna put the MSD Street Fighter ignition system through some paces with the rev limiter. So with that tap, we're gonna spin it up and see where it cuts the power off. We're going to look at that LED that blinks different codes. And so if y'all enjoyed the video, please hit that like, subscribe if you'd like to, ring the bell, share, do all those things. And as always, we appreciate you guys so much for watching. Thanks so much. And we'll see y'all on the next video.